Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is on a Mac. As you can see, I'm using OS High Sierra version 10.13.3. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to turn on dark mode, which is what you see here. This is my actual desktop. I like to keep things nice and clean. It's great if you're doing live streaming or presentations from your computer, if you're making tutorials, or if you're kind of a minimalist and you just like things nice and clean and simple. I'm gonna show you how to get this look right here. To turn on dark mode, click the apple in the upper left corner. Choose system preferences. Choose the first option, general. We're looking for this checkbox right here. Use dark menu bar and dock. You can see when I uncheck this, it's gonna go back to the default light gray. There's the menu bar up top. And if I go over to the dock, which I have hiding over here on the left side, behind all the icons, you can see there's also the matching light gray. If I check this though, use dark menu bar and dock. Now you can see that the menu bar is gonna turn dark and so is the bar right behind all the icons. I think that looks pretty sharp myself. The other thing you wanna choose is right here, appearance. You can see here I have it set to graphite. If I turn it to blue, if I look here in the menu bar now, you can see it behind all those, it's highlighted in blue. If I turn that to graphite, now when I go to the menu bar, you can see here, it just has that clean graphite look behind it. So I'm gonna keep it at graphite. I keep the rest the same. Okay, now let's take a look at the dock. I have it positioned over here on the left side. I have it set to auto hide. That means if I move my cursor away, it automatically hides. If I bring my cursor up, the dock shows up, okay? You can make those changes if you right click down here in this little empty space. You can position on screen, left, bottom, or right, and you can turn hiding off or on, okay? If I turn it off, you can see the dock's gonna be permanently there. If I right click back, I can turn it back on. It's gonna disappear when I hide it. I like it that way. If you wanna make additional changes, you can right click, go to dock preferences. You can change stuff like the size so if I want to make these nice and small if you want to turn magnification on and off if you do it like that you're going to get the ultimate minimal look right there but I kind of like it when I can see them and magnify it so right click in the empty space here dock preferences I'm going to turn magnification back on I'm going to move this up a little bit turn the size up a little bit so when I go into my dock I can actually see them okay now let's clean up your desktop just go up to finder Preferences, choose this first option, general, uncheck these two right here. Hard disks, that is your main Macintosh hard drive. You can see here by the icon. External disks, this is gonna be any external hard drives. If you have any cameras or card readers, that's what these are right here. So if you uncheck those, all of those icons will disappear. Keep your, your desktop nice and clean. If you wanna change the color, the background of your desktop, just right click, choose change desktop background. You can see here I choose a solid color, just choose black or any solid color that you want click done and there you have a nice clean background. So I know some of you have a hard time keeping your desktop clean. Here is a bonus tip if you are a ScreenFlow user. If you click on the little camera icon and you, there's an option here, you can click on this hide desktop icon. That will temporarily take everything off of your desktop, record your tutorial. When you're done with ScreenFlow, everything will come back. Okay, and the last step to get this dark, clean, simple, minimalistic look on your Mac is to clean up your menu bar. If you look at mine up top here, you'll notice there's no clutter, there's not a lot of icons up there. That is thanks to a $15 Mac utility called Bartender 3. That is this little bow tie icon right here. What it does is basically hides anything you don't want to see up in your menu bar into this little icon. So if I click it, you'll see here, these are all the things that I choose to hide. I just click it again, it's gonna hide. I can tell it what I want to see and what I won't, don't want to see. I'll leave links below, but just do a search for Bartender 3. It'll pop up. There's a 30-day free trial. It's only 15 bucks. I've had this for years, and it's been one of my favorite Mac utilities for a long time. My name is Mike Murphy. That is how to enable dark mode on your Mac, which is great for tutorials, live streaming, or to just keep things simple. Cheers.